Sean Rutland, CEO of Hutch, the games developer participating in the pilot. Sean, look, we sort of know the result here, don't we? We sort of know from it, because it's been done in numerous trials, and it always shows that properly done, and that's the key, sir, properly done, productivity doesn't suffer. That's right. Yeah, well, uh, we're, we're certainly hoping that it will increase. Um, productivity will go up, uh, creativity will go up, and our staff can live fuller, better lives. I guess the, 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 the issue is to make sure that you're not just doing hidden work by taking it off the, off the table, but actually people are still having to work later into the evenings and working on those off days. It's got to be monitored properly. How are you going to do that? Yeah, I think um, ultimately we are a business that puts full trust into our teams. So we really ask our team to, to feed back to us how it's working, what's going on for them. Um, you know, we have that in a five day work week where, where staff sometimes feel the need to work on weekends and we certainly don't like it. We like to stop it. Sometimes they do it because they absolutely love what they're doing. Um, but ultimately, it's about trusting the team to give us feedback that if it's not working, then we need to, to understand what are the problems, how can we do it better, is it project planning, is it the scope of work? It's really about trusting your team and listening to your team as well. From what I've seen this done before, this four-day work week, it has to be planned, it has to be monitored, it has to be carefully constructed. So how much work are you putting mm -hmm. into that construction? Well, we originally wanted to start it in December, and actually, um, and I was quite, I was quite in a pace to sort of do it. And my head of people, um, she asked to slow it down, and we spent the last six months planning to do this. So we worked with the team to understand how we could measure it, if it's been successful, what are the stresses, what are the concerns of the team. You know, not all of the team were that excited by it. So a, a, a very small minority were concerned that it would make them too stressed. They would have less social time with their team members. Uh, the workplace would be less friendly. Um, so there is a lot of work. We we often joke that we needed a six-day work week in order to plan for a four-day working week. And how will you judge success? Because I, I, there are numerous barometers, obviously productivity, 100% and all, but the intangibles of, of satisfaction, happiness, feeling it's it's good. Yeah, so um, success has many measures for us. So firstly is retaining our staff. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, the games industry is probably one of the most competitive workplaces at the moment uh, in terms of trying to get people into the business. It's been very difficult. So retaining our staff, being able to recruit new staff. Um, we measure on a monthly basis their happiness levels. Um, we see certain things that we do, whether they go up or down. Um, so there's there's all sorts of measures that we do in order to listen to, to what's going on. Then ultimately, is the business more profitable? Are we making better games? Um, and are our customers happy? So, um, so you know, we've got, we, we're, we're very data driven right. in terms of the, the things we look at and we can really see what's going on with our games as well. And how do you feel about in the office, out the office, three days in, two days off, whatever, whatever, whatever? <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, we, well, as we're going to a four day work week, 10 years ago, we were pretty radical in having a hybrid workforce. We worked two days from home, two days, sorry, three days in the office. Uh, we were pretty shy about that. We, we, we hid it from investors. Um, the pandemic <laughs> hits, it's become normal. Um, and uh, I feel now quite embarrassed that, that it was such a secret. And, yeah. um, and you know what? We believe working in the office together because you can collaborate. Oh. We believe working from home where you can do deep tasks and you can really knuckle down and do the things you really want to do. Um, so we don't believe in full remote working, although we know it works for a number of game developers. We want to create an attractive place to work. Um, we know that young staff need to be supported and, and, you know, and, and in order to grow our staff, they need to work with senior people. Um, I need social contact with my staff. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a people person. I like to be around people. Um, so yeah, so I really believe in two days in the office and two days at home. I hope we can, you know, this is a trial. This God is not grief. Something Good grief. Two days in the office, two days home, a four day work week, a five day pay packet. Where do I That's sign right. up? I think, well, I was just going to suggest, Richard, maybe you should come work for us. <laughs> Sean Rutland. There you go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. We'll monitor this and we'll talk to you as the experiment continues. It's good to have you, sir. Uh, we'll take a Thank profitable... You.